Greetings Earthlings, welcome to Dance Hall Bomb. If you're not yet a member of this fraternity, please like, subscribe, share, turn on your notification post so whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Now in today's episode, we have a few topics to discuss, a few voice notes to review. These are the stories. Now viewers and members of the Dance Hall community, I have here a voice note to review of Joshi wanted for murder. Now people, let's listen to this voice note before we comment on this issue listen up say you're back from which part tell a pussy we know one deep dark like the dead man has been identified as 45 year old businessman omar wright otherwise called romy wright is the brother of an alleged don from the area nationwide news understands that wright was killed on shortwood road about 10 40 p.m hours after an alleged altercation between himself and Jashi's mother Joshi's mother operates a wholesale business in the community. The rumors are that Wright and Joshi's mom got into a verbal and physical dispute where he allegedly threw water in her face. Wright was allegedly confronted by Joshi hours later and a quarrel reportedly ensued. The police say armed men later confronted Wright at his business place where he was shot several times. It's rumored that Wright's brother, who lives overseas, has vowed to avenge his death. Superintendent Sharika Service, who heads the St. Andrew North Police Division, told Nationwide News Today that the area has been tense since the incident. It's one of fear. In fact, when we went to the meeting, I had expressed it based on some reports that I was receiving. Um, but, and, and that is why we have increased our presence in the, in the Grand Spain area through walkthroughs, um, high visibility patrols, targeted operations, community meetings. Superintendent Service says the police are keen to speak with Jashi. We have heard his name, but uh, what we have also noted is that uh, we have not gotten any report that he's in the St. Andrew North Division. Um, his location is elsewhere. So, of course, my team would love to speak to him to, to, to speak about those reports that we have been receiving. Jashi is best known for his hits such as Born Fighter, Cream of the Crop, Life Lessons, and When We Are Step, which features dancehall icon Bounty Killer. In December 2021, during an interview with Anthony Miller on Entertainment Report, he confessed to accidentally shooting himself in the leg when he was younger. The DJ also controversially stated in that interview that he would murder any friend who wants to kill him. Nora Gay Banton for Nationwide News. Now, people, before I, I even say anything, I want you to watch this quick flashback. Human beings corrupt, police are corrupt. How me tell you? all of my friends, them say, yo, me no friend killer, but if my friend them really I try to kill me, what do you feel like me for do? Eh? So if I, if no, so me have to ask, ask me, no, let, me, let ask me ask you. All right, go ahead. Me tell my friend them I'm grow with from marble and box chuck and pampas and nappy. Say, if me find out say one of them, I try to kill me. Me I go murder them. Where you think? Now, Joshi, you found your back against the wall. I don't know how you're going to come out of this one. But it seems as if you're accused of murder. Someone threw water on your mom, which I understand. Well, this is why we need managers around us and not damagers. Because you could have used option one and called the police instead of getting yourself mixed up in this altercation. Someone threw water on your mom and then they died suddenly after. Everyone is pointing fingers at you. I am not saying you did it, but it just looks funny on you. You need to turn yourself into the police and 
clear your name. We need good influence around us when things like these happen. We know how to handle it. Now I'm not going to say too much because you heard everything there in the voice note. Now people, let's move on to the next topic. Now people, Caswell Sr. aka Casanova two times found himself in a big prison brawl which caused his face to be slashed. Now I have a voice note we can review on the issue. Let's listen. Former Brooklyn rapper Casanova, whose real name is Coswell Sr., isn't going back to his hometown streets anytime soon. The self-proclaimed blood gang member who pleaded guilty to federal drug conspiracy charges last year was involved in a vicious fight yesterday at the Essex County Correctional Facility in Newark. These internal reports from correction officers say Sr. was slashed with a weapon by another inmate, Ulysses Lugo, and then chased him down with the help of others. We spoke with one officer who responded responded to the scene. I mean, Lugo, you couldn't see his face because he was saturated in blood. You couldn't see it at the time because his whole face was saturated in blood and his whole uniform was saturated in blood. I mean, Senior was sitting there and blood was just coming out of his face. Now people, there you have it, prison on a bed of roses. Now it seems as if uh, Casanova has denounced his gang, meaning that he is no longer affiliated with the Bloods gang, the Gorilla Movement, and he dropped his flag and within an instant, quick reflex, he was beaten by another Gorilla member. Now people, that's how it goes when you're in gangs, you sign up with your life, there's no free entrance and there's no free exit, it's a forever thing. They say, which I find stupid, I can't be a big grown ass man joining a gang i understand if a kid with a child brain got manipulated and joined a gang but how can a grown man join a gang well i don't know the benefits and such but it doesn't seem like a good thing because all gang does is kill people they just go around and kill their own kind a matter of fact black people two black brothers killing each other because one doesn't want to hang out anymore it's just crazy now people i also have here another dance hall member almost lost his life to the demise of two gunmen but people i understand that these two guys are briscoe's friend because they could have been seen in previous music videos and i'm just sending a warning to these artists people if he's an artist you sing music if he's a gangster try and change your life you know just identify yourself and stop make the genre look you know like it's just about killing and such forth and these youths are definitely just talking on themselves because they are singing about these people they have been seen in pictures with these people and then these people come to take your life you see when friend turn enemies is not a nice thing only a friend can hurt you briscoe clean up your act is a young youth you can't change your life still you know they're at the end of the road keep better friends who are gonna motivate you to do better things in life now let's move on to the next topic people have a voice note of finesse two times show being shot up in atlanta it was a birthday party now people let's listen to the voice note and decap county police are still working to figure out what led up to gunfire here at the premier cosmopolitan lounge on glenwood road where five people were shot a video circulating on social media gives a glimpse inside these scary moments that sent patrons at the club scrambling for cover A Saturday night out for some took a frightening turn when chaos erupted at the sound of gunfire inside the Premier One Cosmopolitan Lounge and Restaurant on Glenwood Road. This video obtained by Fox 5 captured the scary moment someone started shooting inside the club and patrons ran for their lives. DeKalb County police say the call about the shooting that sent five people to the hospital came in around 3 a.m. when an argument broke out as people were leaving. Flyers online indicate that the club was putting on an after party for birthday bash weekend that featured a performance by rapper Finesse Two Times. A lot of shooting, a lot of crime, this club. This man who did not want to be identified told Fox 5 he's worked security in the plaza where the shooting happened for nearly 15 years and that it's not uncommon to hear about incidents like this one. For several years, been different names, they, uh, different owners, same crime every time open up. 
same thing, shooting. He tells Fox 5 he was a little surprised to hear what happened after he was told they didn't need any extra security for the event. I would because I was supposed to have been working here that night, but they, was, they didn't need anybody. While those five people are recovering and police are searching for suspects. I just hope they're okay to nobody. No, I'm serious. Enjoy. He says he also hopes having more security is something the owners of this club and others will consider. Now we reached out to officials with the nightclub for comment. We're still waiting to hear back, but DeKalb County police say the five victims that were taken to the hospital are in stable condition at this time. There's no word on potential suspects, but if you have any information, give detectives a call. That's the latest. Oh, people, we reach the end of another brand new show, a fresh new show. If you're not yet a member of this fraternity, please like, subscribe, share this channel, turn on your notification post. As soon as I upload a new episode, you'll be notified. Now, people, walk good. I'm out.